Hey guys, so I'm going to show you my new deck. I did go the mono aggro route and it was very interesting, but I've decided to make a different deck and I don't know where my sideboard begins. I want to say it begins here. Here is my deck and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, we have our mirrors. We have our wooded for hills. We are still mono red because I feel like right now it is a very good deck to be in. So we have eight fetch lands, we have five mountains. No, nope, more than five. 12, no, 14 mountains. E nope. Yeah, 14 mountains. We have 14 mountains, eight fetch lands, 22 total lands, which is pretty good for the deck. We run Two Sharkon Dragon Speakers, top end, and two, three Storm Breath Dragons. Uh, this combination will change. Storm Breath is very good with a card from our sideboard, which I'll show you later. Two Ash Cloud Phoenixes. Ash Cloud. <laughs> uh, remember the comments now, okay. Stoke the Flames, I still don't have my fourth. Stoke, no one will trade me it. Uh, my deck wins a lot, I think that's why. Goblin Rabble Master. Outburst for your goblins, so we do have a ton of goblin tokens. Fodder, which is one of the new additions to it, but one of the more important additions to it. Lightning Strike. Uh, one of my favorite cards, Lightning Berserker. This card, the more I play it, the more I like it, because it comes in play pretty much late. It can come in play early in the game, beat down pretty early. It can come in play late in the game and beat down at instant speed, essentially. Wild Slash and the Outpost. Uh, Outpost is good. Uh, it's not good in multiples though. It seems like it would be good in multiples, but your creatures pretty much are going to get board wiped only once. And if you play multiples, you are losing tempo and you cannot afford to lose tempo in this type of deck. Sideboard. Um, this card is very good actually, but only as a sideboard card. You get to destroy your goblins and create huge dragons and just win the next turn. But kind of like it's bad because it's not instant speed. If it was instant speed, I would play in the main board because it's really that good. You have no reason to play Active Treason because you have this card. This card is pretty much just Active Treason but better. A playset of this card. Very, very powerful card. A lot of times you need to kill those creatures that are blocking you, which is not a lot of times, it's like every time. And the fact that if you show a Storm Breath Dragon, uh, I want to play this card. I need to get a playset of this card, but I'm waiting for the pre-release foil version of it, because it's like anime art almost. And I would actually don't, I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to wait and trade for them or just buy them out straight outright. Very good card. I feel like with the more dragons coming in, especially if you have four storm breaths, uh, you remove the Sarkons, you go up to storm breaths and go up to the Thunder Break Regents and you have eight dragons, this card is going to trigger more times than not. Uh, volley. Uh, very good. Not just in modern, but also in standard. There's a plenty of creatures in blue and white that I want to kill for four. And Roast. So Roast is a very good card. Roast is actually one of the most played cards, but I only have one copy of all the packs I've opened. Actually, that's not true because I haven't gone through my uncommons yet, so I probably have more. But it should be four Roasts. Uh, blood is very good, but Blood is way worse than Dragonic. Uh, in my opinion, that one damage to your creature matters a lot because for blood to work it has to kill the creature for draconic roar it does not have to kill the creature at least oh, I don't, i've been playing it like yeah so you don't have to kill the creature it could be direct damage a lot of times you just need to deal free damage to your opponent um and you don't you cannot kill that rhino so you cannot, even if you double blood rhino, like it doesn't help you because you don't get the six damage that you really want. But for this card, you get the damage as long as you show the dragon, which is really incredible in my opinion. Uh, it's a very good card, six damage for two. 
Um, and it does give the deck the flexibility to splash other colors, but that's not really relevant. So roast, uh, this should be four roast after I find them. Uh, four volleys, four draconics, uh, a descent of dragon. Actually, I would probably go, I would change the harness by force. Harness by force is very good when it works, but it's typically a dead card into Descent of Dragons, because your little goblins, when they become dragons, it's over. And it's a fun deck. And I want to play more uh, tokens, more different types of tokens. So that's why. Anyway, um, that's my deck. Bye, guys.